Hello, welcome back on my YouTube channel. Last weekend I made a very nice hike with the Erasmus Mundus flood risk management students in the Zexis Schweiz in Germany. In this video I'm going to explain how to export a route from Strava and import it into QGIS and then make a nice outdoor map using the MapTiler plugin. In Strava, click on your map and choose Save Route. There you can change the name of the route and you can control the privacy controls. Click Save and then the route is saved. In the web browser go to the Strava website and there you find the dashboard of your account and in the dashboard you can find your routes. And they are categorized and here I find the route under Hike. I have it two times because uh, I already saved it before in this tutorial. Click on the route and then click Export GPX to save the coordinates into a GPX file. Now start QGIS. In QGIS browse to the GPX file and expand the section. Then drag the tracks layer to the map canvas. This is your route. Now we're going to create a very nice map using the MapTiler plugin. With MapTiler you can add uh, vector tiles to uh, QGIS in a very easy way. After installation you can find MapTiler in the browser panel. Before we can uh, use these layers we need to uh, configure MapTiler. Click right and choose account. It needs a token from your account. You can click the link to create an account. It's free. I already have an account, so I sign in. And there you find your uh, credentials. You can give that a name and you can copy the token and paste it here in the MapTiler uh, plugin dialog. And now you have authenticated and you're able to use the uh, layers. So now we can add any of these uh, vector and raster tiles to the map canvas and I'm going to add the outdoor layer to the map canvas. The advantage of vector tiles is that you can customize the styles and the labels uh, exactly in the same way as you're used to in your QGIS project. You saw that it gave an error that uh, not all conversions to the styles went correctly but that doesn't affect this result and is depending on uh, the settings in your QGIS version. I'm going to change the project to uh, a UTM uh, projection instead of Latlon, it gives a better uh, view. And now I expand the uh, outdoor group and there we see outdoor as a vector tile. And by switching on and off I can see what it is and it gives uh, outdoor features that are nice for an outdoor map. And there's a vector tile called contours which has contour lines, very subtle styled here. And there's a raster tile terrain RGB which gives the shades. And there's map tile planet which gives a land cover. And there's a general background layer. Let's go to the layer styling panel and here you see the styles that are applied to this uh, outdoor map. And uh, you can see the symbology and uh, the rules that are given, minimum zoom levels for example. And uh, by just double clicking you can uh, change it or if you check or uncheck a box you can make uh, them visible or uh, hide uh, these uh, styles. And in the labels tab you can find uh, the labels. So I'm going to uh, simplify the map a bit by switching off some of the styles that we are not uh, using in this map. So it's a hike, so I hide the bicycle and via ferrata trails. Our hiking route is still in the GPX format, so let's uh, export this. And I'll export it to a geo package. Let's call it uh, Schmilka, the name of the place where the route starts. I'm going to reproject it to UTM. And I give the layer name uh, hike with the date. Let's remove uh, the original file. And uh, let's uh, choose a nice style. Um, I'll choose the wavy line here, which is a geometry generator based style. And I'm going to change the color of the line to orange. And also increase the thickness. So now we have a clear route here on the map. Now I'm going to add a raster tile, the terrain RGB, which is a DEM. 
which we can also uh, style using any uh, normal raster layer in the layer styling panel. We can change the minimum maximum value. But, uh, normally you would stretch the values to uh, the current uh, map canvas, but uh, in this case that does not work. So you have to uh, manually edit uh, the values. And I'm going to uh, add another color ramp. I choose create color ramp and then catalog CPT city. And there from topography, I choose NRWC. That already looks nice, but uh, it would also be nice to have a color hill shade. So I'm going to uh, create a duplicate of this layer. As with any uh, raster layer, you can also export this layer to a DEM. Uh, a Duptif, for example. But here uh, I create the duplicate and uh, I'm going to rename this to Hillshade. And I choose the Hillshade renderer from the layer styling panel. I'll switch on early resampling because that uh, smooths the blocky effect that we can have. So let's switch on uh, the terrain RGB layer and switch the blending mode to multiply. Now we get the nice color hill shade effect. Let's uh, switch on again outdoor, but I uh, remove the background and the map tiler planet layer so we can see the color hill shade in the background and the contours and outdoor features uh, on top. Now let's uh, make the contours a bit clearer because the original style doesn't really fit well with our relief colors. So I'm going to make them a little bit darker. That looks great. And then from outdoor, I'm going to play a bit with the uh, labels because these uh, buffers don't look very nice with this uh, background. Now let's also uh, change the labels of the contours. I remove the buffer, but also the color of the label is not very uh, readable. So change it to black. So in this video I've been playing around with uh, vector tiles from MapTiler. Uh, it was a bit quick and dirty, but uh, I hope you've seen that it's a very powerful and easy way to create beautiful backdrop maps uh, using the available layers from uh, MapTiler. And in uh, future videos I will uh, use this more uh, for other demonstrations. So try it yourself, it's free and uh, it's really cool.